morning. Welcome to a beautiful April's morning. And check out my... Well, they're not saplings anymore, are they? My baby elm, American elm trees. Look at that. Really quite proud of what I produced there. It looks incredible. Flanked either side by these fresh American elm trees. They're growing pretty well, don't you think? So, what's on the cards today? We need to get grass down into what will be the grass field. After it's liming that you saw in the last episode. Dog's got his breakfast there. Come on, pal. Eat up. Yeah, so we need to get in the T7. I got it prepped yesterday. I've got the T7 hooked up to the cedar, but I need to get the seed in, and the seed is still in the seed tender, which is in the shed over there. So actually, I need to go back this way, don't I, and get the pickup truck. Connect it up to the seed tender, pull that out, and get the seed into the cedar. We've got, I think, just over... 5,000 litres, I think, in the uh, in the seed tender. So I'm not sure how far that's going to go with the crop of grass. But if we need to get more, we'll get more. But we'll uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So let's let's get the seed tender out and go from there, shall we? Done. Right, let's get in the field and get doing some drilling, eh? These trees look awesome. <laughs> oh, here we are. Right, let's get this thing unfolded. Get it lined up about right. That should do us, I think. Right, grass. Here we come. There we go. Another job well done. One field drilled with grass. I have noticed there's a couple of areas, you can see them in the distance there, and one here, there's, there's quite a bit of lying water in here when it uh, when it rains. It's a pretty miserable day at the minute, it's raining quite hard. But uh, but yeah, there's a couple of areas of, of uh, low ground here that seem to hold the water, doesn't seem to drain away very well. Not too sure what I can do about that right now, but just something I happen to point out I guess so what's what's next I need to get this field rolled um, I have bought a roller uh, I bought the uh, 
the similar thing to what I used from, from Joe a few weeks back, or a couple of months ago now, I think. Uh, the Dalbo Power Roll. Um, I've picked up one of those. So I can get me rolling done myself without having to borrow anything off anybody. So, oh, I'm going to have to come back for that truck as well, aren't I? Yeah, I did have to top up with seed once. Um, but I was fine for fertiliser, because the, the grass doesn't need anywhere near as much fertiliser as, for example, the wheat over there did. It's coming on well, though. Feels look pretty good. So, let's get this thing back to the yard. I'll walk back over here and pick up the truck and seed tender, get everything put away out of this rain. And I'm going to run myself down to the shop and go and pick up my roller and get back into that field. Back again. Here we are. Hopefully, with the the fact that it's raining, the ground is going to obviously it's going to do the soil and the seed a world of good. But hopefully, it's going to keep the ground nice and soft. So these uh, these stones should go under quite easily. I hope. Let's. Oh, hang on. They know this is a bit of a wide thing, isn't it? Let's shift over a bit. Get it unfolded. Oh, that should be about right, I think. Oh, almost. Almost. Right. I'm going to get this one done. Well, if I don't say so myself, that was another good job very well done. There is not a single stone left in this field. Everything has been shoved under. Um, but I tell you what, as this rain carries on, some of this, some of these areas of lying water are getting pretty big. I mean, look at this one here in the corner. You could almost go fishing in that. It's massive. Well, again, not that I know what to do about that. Just pointing them out. Goodness me, this weather's horrible. <laughs> right, what's left to do anyway? Wow. One hour in the field and uh, look how clean that is. And look how clean that isn't. <laughs> right. Let's get this back. I think... Next on the to-do list is just to top up the, the cow feed a bit. Obviously the grass field has just been drilled, so we've got a, got a bit of time ahead of us before we can take advantage of any yield from that. So that's me and Amos are technically working together in respect to looking after the cows. Uh, I'm just going to pop over there and grab another mixer load of TMR and top up the cows. So we'll get this back home. I think I'm going to stick with this tractor for now, as it's the muckiest. And, uh, yeah, we'll get the cows topped up. Thanks, mate. And while we're at this whole cow feeding thing, I've just popped back over to Amos's farm to give uh, to give his cows a bit of a, a bit of a feed mix because they were running low. He asked me if I could do that for him, which is no problem whatsoever. So let's uh, get ourselves in here. You girls are going to have to move out of the way. Oh, that's a narrow gap, isn't it? Oh, let's hopefully try and squeeze. Don't lie down there. I've got to get the tractor in. <laughs> That's very helpful. I'm going to feed you. Huh. Right, well. Let's see what we can do about that. Come on. Out of the way, love. Really? <laughs> Literally just standing there, aren't you? Come on, maybe if I beep the horn you might move out of the way. I 
have to slowly edge back. <laughs> oh, you difficult thing. Really? He asked me to feed you, not run you over. <laughs> oh, my. Honestly, come on. Come on. Come on. Don't moo at me. I'm trying to feed you. Might be here for a while. I mean, there's stubborn. And there's stubborn. <laughs> oh, movement. Right. Let's have it. Looks like I'm going to have to play dodge the cow. Just going to miss that one. Oh, that one got you moving, didn't it? You daft thing. Come on, out the way. It's a heavy trailer, this, I tell you. Right, where are we? If I just worm my way through this lot... Find a gap, find a gap. And another one. It would appear you don't want any food. Goodness me. We're moving. No. Finally. Shifted. Right. Let's get this food in here. There we go. Honestly, talk about ungrateful. <laughs> Got to get out of here yet as well. Right, that's them fed. Get your head out of me, wheels. Honestly. What a ridiculous animal. <laughs> I'm stuck. Between a herd of cows. Come on, shift. Right, that's done. Slightly longer than expected, but we can get out of there relatively quickly without being crammed in. Let's shut these gates. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> right, let's get home. At least the rain's packed it in anyway. It was turning out to be quite a miserable day, but now it's uh, it's stopped. It's clearing up, I think. Which reminds me, we're going to need to borrow that tractor at some point with the bucket to get some manure out of the heap over at my cow barn. Right, anyway, let's get back. Going to give this a quick wash out in the workshop here. Quick wash off. Well, hopefully it'll be quick. It's quite a mucky thing at the minute, this. Could have the room in here. Let's squeeze it in there. That'll be right. Okay. There we go. That's a bit better. Nice and shiny. Let's get it out of here. And get this back over to the cow barn. Um, what else have I got to do? Get this back over here. I think we'll bring the T7 into here for a quick wash. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful day now. Right, that's the, uh, that's the feed mixer back where it belongs for now. Trying to think what else to do now. Like I say, I'm going to give the T7 a quick rinse over. 
So that's a bit mucky from this morning's drilling session. Um, but I have also been pondering about what crop to pop in this, uh, in, in what was the grass field. This is this, the, the smaller of my fields now on the, uh, coming up on the left hand side. I'm thinking I might try a crop of peas. Obviously after discovering, I think I had one or two fields with a, a withered crop of peas in when I arrived here. Um, knowing that peas get grown in this part of the world, I think it might be interesting to give them a go. Yeah, this field here. And if I do choose to drop some peas in this field, it's now's the right time to get them in, so... I don't know whether I... Yeah, do you know what? It's only halfway through the day. I'm not going to bother cleaning off the T7. We're going to do a bit more drilling. Executive decision made. Let's drill some peas. I like peas. Yeah, I'd been pondering over what to put in this field, so I'm glad I've come to that uh, decision. And once I've got this crop drilled, That'll be all my fields done. Or everything I own up to now, anyway. That's not to say I've got any plans on buying anything else, because I don't. But that'll be all my fields drilled with a crop in. Let's drop this down. Yeah. Bring on the peas. There we go. All fields drilled with a crop now. Really happy with that. So, all that's left to do now is give this beastie a quick wash and we're going to get the roller back in this field and get that field finished off for now. So, workshop. Done. Right, time for some food. I'm starving. <laughs> 